what to do if a shipment goes wrong. Don't panic because it can and likely will happen at some point. Don't freak out is the number one rule to remember here. Figure out exactly what the problem is and how to solve it. Was it a minor issue or a major issue? An example of minor issues would be the shipment is late. If it's late, it could be a multitude of reasons and they might be very minor. Things could have just gotten held up with another shipment that's part of your um, boat that's shipping. The shipment is held in customs. Again, it could be minor. The guys could have decided to cut work early and go out for beers. You don't know. It might be in that one extra day that it's held in customs. Um, one or two of the boxes are missing. Could be an issue with the truck driver, could be an issue with your supplier, but again, a minor issue that you can probably figure out. If it's one or two boxes out of 100, it's not really an issue. If it's one or two boxes out of you know, 10, then it might be more of an issue. Examples of major issues would be um, something is misspelled on your packaging. So let's say that, take an example, my company, Prestige Auto Care. If they put on the title of my product and the packaging of my car duster, if they wrote Prestige Auto Ulcer, that would be a major problem if I had 5,000 units come in with a title of Prestige Auto Ulcer. I can't sell those units. The packaging is all wrong. That is a major issue. Another major issue would be an entire pallet is missing. If an entire pallet is missing, you have a big problem. Um, it's possible that it was left in the docks. It was possible that it was left on the in the shipping container that was shipped over in. Or it's possible your supplier missed shipping a pallet, which is a big problem for you. The next would be that the items are heavily damaged. Has happened to me as well. Um, I've had boxes come in with shoe prints all over the edge of them and all over the box itself. The items inside were really beat up. That's a major problem. About 50% of the inventory was ruined because of damage. Again, a big issue. Um, the, items were not the items were not produced correctly or to spec. Again, an issue that I've had. I had an order of 3,000 units where around 1,500 of them were completely not produced to spec at all. So that can be a major issue as well. So what do you do if this happens? Well, first you want to identify whose fault the issue is. Is it the trucking company or customs or the manufacturer? The boxes are damaged, which damage the contents inside. Is it an issue created at the point of manufacturing? Something is wrong or damaged with the product. B, is the most likely case in this scenario you will want to contact the supplier immediately. If you, used for, if you use a foreign supplier, you most likely will source it through Alibaba. You'll want to file a complaint with them immediately as well. All problems have a solution. The key is to figure out whose fault the problem is and how to rectify that situation. Again, don't panic. Instead, think of things logically. There always is a solution for every, pro for every problem. And let me tell you, I've had quite a few during this time, during the time I've dealt with private label, but I've always figured out a way to fix the problems. So don't panic, just think of it logically and you'll find a fix.